hello everyone welcome to ksa data vision youtube channel in this particular video we'll see some of the course updates of ksa data vision so if you're first time user to ksa data vision request you to log in into datavision.com and you can give a sign up here if you're logging for the first time and you can log in with your gmail id there will be an uh, authentication that can happen you will be getting a otp so just enter the otp and sign up and once you have signed up you can always go back and sign in at any point of time and just sign in with your credentials once you log in with your course you will be seeing at your dashboard if you are first time user you will not see any of the course here so just go to the explore course in the explore course this month we are actually starting four course so let me walk you through each one one by one so in this explore course you can go back to the free sessions in the free sessions you can see all of this are free sessions as in then the ksr policy says that the first five free classes you can attend and then you can take a call so we are not here to ask you day one about the fees or the registration. First, you can attend. The first five days is completely free for you. You can attend. You can talk to our mentors. You can make sure that this is the right course for you. Only if you understand and only if you are clear with the concepts, we request you to join. So the first course which we are going to have this month will be on 4th July and that is on Thursday. So we're going to start at seven o'clock. So from seven o'clock um, on Thursday, you will be getting first five free sessions. This course is all about full stack Power BI with Fabric. Power BI, we know that it's one of the best business intelligence tool that we have. And along with that, now we are going to teach you Fabric as well. So if you are aware of the BI tools, Fabric is one of the new tool that the Microsoft has launched last year, and it's just one one year old so we are still covering that we will be doing couple of projects in fabric so overall by learning sql power bi along with azure data factory and fabric which will make you a comfortable in terms of data analytics you will be able to get more opportunities because you're also being aware of cloud here so knowing cloud will definitely benefit you so this course, the right people, I would say like people who want a bit of less coding and who want a decent salary can definitely apply for this. So the experience range like two years to six years, seven years can easily go for this course where you will not be writing any of the much coding. So just go here, click here and uh, try to enroll. And if you are enrolling, you have to just go with enroll now. As I've told you, this is a completely free for first five days. You can just attend and post this. You will be added to a community group and we will be sharing all the details about the meeting and you can join from our app as well. So this is the first course. The second course we are starting will be on the same day. Um, uh, sorry, the second will be on the 18th July. So this is a uh, generative AI. Now, this is the first time that we have been uh, included both data science as well as the generative AI. We all know that uh, nowadays the chat GPT as well as the Germany is actually making a greater impact in most of the organizations. And we will exactly tell you how this gen AI works, how this chat GPT works. We'll be using some advanced machine learning models as well as the deep learning models. So for this course, the most recommended people would be freshers because freshers have a good scope here because you will be learning some of the mathematics, statistics, Python, SQL, machine learning. So you will have a greater learning here. And of course, since we are using all using chat GPT in Germany, this will give you a complete foundation. And not only as a freshers, you can also go if you are like having an experience and if you want to scale up in terms of a problem solving skills. So usually why we go with machine learning and deep learning, we also have the data, we have analyzed the data, but we wanted to predict the future. For that, we are building machine learning algorithms. So this course, data science and generative AI starts on 18th. And uh, for this, as I said, you can attend the first five free sessions and you can talk to our mentors, understand the scope of the course, and then you can take a call. And the third one I would say is it's a data engineering, which we are going to start on 18th July. And this time it's going to be at eight o'clock in the morning. So this is a morning course. So for this data engineering, we know that the data engineering, one of the fundamentals and foundation for every data driven technologies, whether it could be data science or it could be data analytics, for both of the course, the foundation itself is data engineering. Here we will be building a data pipelines 
when you say data pipelines the data will be scattered across different systems you want to gather it and you want to build one end to end pipeline you can opt for this so for this we will be learning sql python and we'll be focusing mainly on the cloud service which is nothing but azure so this course is also demand because we know that microsoft products are always in demand so here we'll be completely learning about the end to end data pipelines we will be building four projects this four projects will definitely help you to scale up and oh, one thing which i really want to tell is this is a bit tough when you compare with all the other courses this is a bit tough but as i said it's really the worth tough for the subject greater the package so this stands the topmost scores where you can get a very high package so people who want to switch your career in the high paying job and you want to get into a very good career you can opt for data engineering well in data engineering you have two things either you can uh, learn azure or you can learn aws so the other course we are going to talk about is the same data engineering but this time we are going to learn with the help of snowflake and AWS. Now, as I said, you can build a pipeline, but you can build with respect to Azure as well as you can build with respect to AWS. So, two different cores, both are in demand. As I said, certain companies will use certain cloud services. For example, imagine that you want to apply for Microsoft. If your dream company is Microsoft, you cannot learn AWS now because Microsoft will use their own products called Azure. Similarly, if your dream company is Amazon in that case there is no point in reading Azure so you have to go with AWS so like this we have different companies using different vendors it's all about mastering the subject and applying for your specific companies there are specific companies who are tied up with AWS there are specific companies who are tied up with Azure all in all both are in demand and you can choose according to your dream company well if you feel like no i don't have any dream company i want to just get into a data engineering then in that case going with aws or azure could be a, a good opportunity for you to learn both or if you want to learn one either one should be good so this is about the course update uh, if you still need any more details reach out to our team our team will be there to help you we will also give you one to one mentorship we will understand your background and we will suggest you the right course it's not about which course you choose it's all about which is your right course for you and a team is working hard in order to giving you the right solutions so with that please make use of this five free sessions so even if you are not joining the complete course at least make use of this five free sessions this will definitely give you basics of why the subject is required for with that thank you so much please subscribe our channel see you again in the next video